Yeah, me again. You know what? I'll have to get a more comfortable if you wish to. I'll show you the seat that I sit on one day. You won't believe it. Um, I welcome it. It is a juice review today, but I was encouraged to do this for, for, for particular reasons, yeah. Um, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? Just before we uh, before we get into it, I'm going to put the juice in this tank so it's soaking while we're, uh, while we're waiting, if you understand what I'm saying. So I'll just fill this uh, tank up a little bit. <sighs> all silent, all silent. I'll have to put my glasses on for this. This small micro tanks right as i say the review today is about oh yes there we go is about a juice it's going to be about a particular juice should i say uh but that isn't the reason i'm doing it i mean the reason i'm doing it well yeah they am yeah they am yeah right have you ever heard of a company called um tab lights <laughs> You must have heard of a company called Tab Lights. Obviously, if you're from Manchester, you'll know of the company called Tab Lights. Tab, Tab Lights has been in central Manchester since the beginning of vaping, yeah? In other words, when uh, when the first e-cigarettes that came out, and then was like the little cig-like ones, you know what I mean? It looked like a cigarette and you replace the tips on the end. Well, Tab Lights was basically one of the first companies... Uh, that did them uh, what opened a shop in Manchester and uh, I never actually went to that shop I never went to it purely because it was central Manchester yeah and when I live on the outskirts of central Manchester it's a bit of a pain getting in there if all you want is a little bit of juice etc etc and over the years I've sort of kept away uh, from tab lights and the reason being is because they opened a the shop local to me yeah and when I went in it was like oh it's just generic e-juice and it was just the normal standard mods that they had, yeah? And when I actually asked the staff in there, which was a young lad, a student he were, he didn't seem to know a lot, and um, it was no selection. So I thought, well, there's no point in going into Manchester, but he did say to me they had more in Manchester, and I thought, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before, sort of thing. So basically, this is where it gets round to it. Tab lights, in the meantime, somewhere along the way, have contacted me and says, uh, Professor Vapes, We'd like to know if you'd like to uh, review uh, some of our e-juices. Yep. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you here. When I first seen that email, I thought, I think this is going to be like a generic juice, that sort of thing. And I thought, well, you know what? I don't mind. You know, I like doing juice reviews, that sort of thing. So I said, yeah, OK. And believe it or not, they actually uh, sent me some e-juices. Uh, this was the range that they sent me here, which is sugar pie. Uh, I just stopped me, stick my glasses on just so I can tell you what flavours they come in. Uh, lemon cookie dough, sweet apple pie, maple nut brittle, hazelnut cookie, and coffee caramel. And I looked at them all, you know, when I, when I received them, and I thought, mm, I've done, I've overdone the lemon. I? I've, I've, you know, it's one of my favourite juices. Sweet apple pie, I've tried so many of them. Hazelnut cookie, mm, I don't know if it's going to be for me or not. And then I've seen coffee caramel. Now, I like coffee, and I thought, shall I do that one? Because then, you know me, I'm never going to do the lot in the range, yeah? I mean, if I sort of try some more in the range, and go, ooh, that's nice, probably I'll do the review on it. Uh, but the one that stood out for me was one called Maple Nut Brittle. That's what sort of stuck out to me. Now, as I say, uh, the company isn't far from me. And what I did is I thought, before I do this review on the e-juice, because I don't want to, I never want to be negative. You understand what I'm saying? In fact, what I normally do is film it. And if it's really, really negative and they've gone out of the way to sort of help me out, I just refuse to do, you know, send the review live, that sort of thing. Uh, but a lot of them say, no, it's OK. You just say it the way it is. Yeah. And so basically what I did is I went online. I thought I'll do a bit more research on Tab Light. And I, I know the company, but I've never been down there. Uh, and I don't want to slate them off or say they're good when they're not that sort of thing. So I'll go online, check out the website. Uh, and I spent a full day, I've spent a full day trying to get on the website. And I kept getting this Google message back saying not available, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, what's going on here? Like, you know what I mean? Uh, so I basically sent them an email via some other way. And they tried to ask it was your, it was your Google settings. Very helpful. They were really helpful. Uh, ch changed all these settings on my computer. Still nothing. So I thought, right, I'll get me another laptop out. Got me another laptop out. Still nothing. So I thought, right, I'm going to go to my mates. So I went round the corner to my mates. Um, 
Try to get on again. Couldn't get on. So I thought, you know, what sort of company is this if they haven't even got a website live? And I'm starting to get a little bit depressed, like, you know what I mean? I thought, but I wanted to do that review on that juice. So <laughs> what I did is basically got up in disguise, yeah? And I actually got all the way down to Manchester. It's not like in the city centre. It's just on the outskirts near... Uh, uh tip street and uh and coats that way yeah it's just sort of like on that on that main road there so i found a place to park yeah which you had to pay for uh that's got nothing to do with them like it's just basically central manchester that's where it is so i thought right i'll have a walk around so I'll stroll around uh there's tab lights uh, big shop i mean it really is a bit in fact i was quite surprised because we were expecting a small shop so i'll go inside as I look around, I was like, whoa, you know what? They're better than what I thought they would be. They really were. So I started I started my usual thing, cracking on that I've never vaped in my life. You know what I mean? I didn't turn out to say I've never vaped because that's not, it's a word what only us vapors use. I turn out to say I smoke so many a day. Can you sort of point me in the right direction? What should I be having? And they wasn't trying to sell me a particular item, but was more or less asking me questions, yeah. So to me, that was good, yeah. I came out of that shop. Even though I didn't buy nothing, it's like, yes, yeah, Steve. Even though I didn't buy anything, I came out of that shop feeling quite chuffed with myself. Like, you know what I mean? I thought, yeah, that was worth a visit down. So here I am, got back home, come down to the studio, and I thought, right, now that, sh that might be nearly ready in a minute. So the e juice that I selected was one of the range, like I say, and it was one called uh, Maple Nut Brittle. Yeah, maple nut brittle. Now, the reason I chose this, and I haven't tasted it yet, is because I already sort of kind of guessed from the name what I'm expecting from it. That's what I thought, yeah. Now, I haven't tried it yet still. Uh, because we all know nut brittle. I mean, I got brought up on the stuff, you know what I mean? You sort of snap a piece off, break your teeth at biting into it. You'll all know it's like it's like peanuts in a, in a, a bar of pure toffee, not a caramel. It's like real brittle toffee, yeah? You have to crunch it away. Uh, well, it's always been one of my favourites. I like anything like that, even sesame seed in, in brittle, that sort of thing. I like all them. So I thought, yeah, you know what? I'm going to give that one a try because I, I, I've got something to work off there. You know what I mean? I can, I can associate with something else. And then what I did is I picked up the card that actually came with it. Yeah. And I'm just going to read it to you now and you'll see where I, I might have got lost somewhere in what I thought it was. And what it turns around and says is maple nut brittle. It says maple syrup, the golden sticky, sweet and delicious breakfast favourite, all the way from the leafy, leafy Vermont, from leafy Vermont. Breakfast cereal, it's like breakfast cereal, seriously. Uh, is drizzled generously over a nutty, snappy, homemade peanut brittle. So, peanut brittle's there, yeah. This is an interesting, surprisingly Moorish treat. So, straight away, everything what I thought it was going to be sort of gone out of the window. For, I'm just expecting nut brittle. Uh, so, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give it a quick sniff test. Uh, by the way, it's 6mg. What I've got, yeah. I can't remember what the mix is. Let me tell you what the mix is. Yeah, 70 30. So it's 70 uh, VG, 30 PG, that sort of mix, yeah. Um, so I'm going to give it a quick sniff test. I've got it in the box. I've just put some in the tube there. I haven't smelled it yet. I'm going to see what I can get as far as an aroma is concerned. 10 little bottles, don't you just eat it? TPD, eh? Right, here we go. Give it a quick uh, aroma test, see what I'm getting from it. <sighs> you're gonna laugh you're gonna laugh here i actually think it tastes like uh, baileys you know you know baileys yeah it actually smells a little bit like baileys but what i can smell i can definitely smell the maple syrup in there i really can it's the other things what's going on what i can't figure out it's almost like uh baileys toffee coffee sort of smell that sort of thing yeah but i'm getting the maple syrup through uh, so we know what it smells like now it's coming down to what it vapes like and uh just to make sure that it's, it smelled like uh maple i've actually got a bottle of maple syrup here because it's one of my favorite things so it's barely bloody good yeah uh, and I, I gave that a quick sniff just before we started filming just to sort of say yeah, I know what ma ma maple syrup tastes like, uh, smells like. So here we go. I've got it in. 
a Jack Vapor tank. Let me just find my glasses again and just tell you what my settings are so you know what my settings are. I'm at 19 watts. Yes, only 19 watts, not 0.3 ohms coil. Yep, and I'm doing it on... I'm going to do it on a mouth to lung rather than a, a direct lung. I'm going to do a mouth to lung and see what it's like there. Yeah, so here we go. Mm. Not a very prominent taste. I'm just give it a let's go direct lung guys, see what we get in there. I'm getting like a popcorn type of taste. That's what I'm getting at the minute. You know, like a, a butter kiss popcorn, that sort of thing. Right, first of all, throat it. I'm just about there on the throat. It Maybe I might like a little bit more nicking than that, but it might take it away from the flavor. You've seen the quality of the vape. Let's, let me show you again. I'll blow it this way this time. Right, I'll tell you what I'm getting. I'm definitely getting the maple syrup. It's a delicate maple syrup. I seem to be getting some sort of a peanut, no, not a peanut, a popcorn taste to it. Like to, like a, a butter kiss toffee popcorn. So obviously that's the toffee in there. And I am getting now, it's coming through right now, yeah? It's coming through. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the wattage up and just see if we get anything different there, yeah? Because I'm just getting the uh, nuts coming through now. Right, here we go. That's what it was lacking. It was lacking the wattage. It was lacking the wattage. Right, now I am getting a dried peanut taste. You know that when you, like, you got like dried aftertaste on a peanut? I'm getting that. It's like it's a sort of a peanut oil, that sort of thing. I'm getting a lot of sweetness with it, a, an awful lot of sweetness, and that's obviously the toffee. Now, when they say breakfast cereal, I'm not really getting a cereal thing, but maybe it's something that I'm, it's just alien to me. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, it's a breakfast cereal out there in Vermont that they're used to, and I've got no idea. I'm not sort of getting any, I don't know, I'm getting a bit of creaminess to it. I couldn't say I'm getting a milkiness to it, and that's what I associate with a breakfast cereal. I'm getting some sort of like creamy, marshmallowy taste to it. Yeah, and that's that's the sort of way I could explain it. Uh, is this a vape that I could vape all? You know what? It surprised me. This vape. It surprised me. It has because at, at the very first I was expecting uh, nut brittle. Yeah, and when I was trying to go through my head, nut brittle, could you really vape nut brittle? I mean, you know, I like the taste from nut brittle, but could you vape it? Well, it isn't nut brittle. It doesn't, it's not like the nut brittle you know. You can taste the maple in it. You can taste the sugar in it. You can taste the, the peanuts to a certain extent. But overall, you're getting this other flavour which is in there, which is very much like a sort of marshmallow, creamy taste. Uh, so, yes, I could vape this all day because I don't mind breakfast. You've watched my reviews in the past, and I like the breakfast cereal type of vapes. So, yes, because I was expecting something which was more nutty you know like the hazelnut ones where you've got to like it or love it that sort of thing is this going to be for you i couldn't actually turn around and say that because i don't know who you are i don't know what sort of flavors you're in and i can't really say to you it tastes like such and such a thing if you don't know what it is yeah like i don't know what this breakfast cereal is what they're going on about so I, even if it turns out as it tasted like that i'd be telling a lie because i don't know it tastes like that but what I can turn around and say is it is absolutely spot on. It's absolutely lovely. It really is. And I want to turn around and say thanks to Tab Lights. Uh, I've had them up behind me throughout the video here. Yeah. I'll leave a link down below. Now, because I'm so happy with that, I am actually going to dig another one of their juices out. And I'm going to do another review. Uh, not, not in this review. I'll do another review and I don't know which one I'm going to go for because it's something drawing me to the uh, 
to the hazelnut cookie and to the lemon cookie dough because the others I feel like I've already covered you know sweet apple pie I've sort of covered that sort of thing uh, coffee caramel I like my coffees but I like the espresso ones yeah and this is like coffee caramel what does it say about coffee caramel we all know that excellent coffee is the right fuel for the city that never sleeps right really sweet caramel infused with the best coffee flavor this side of the Atlantic comes together to make a juice that we all want to scream and shout about. Don't know. All I know is me maple brittle, brittle has worked out fine, thank God. Uh, and it's one which I can recommend. Nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, link down below uh, to Tab Lights. Uh, give them a look up. If you're in Manchester, I know they've got a few shops around the northwest, I think. But if you're in Manchester, you just call in and you'll see what I'm saying. I was very surprised and it was very welcoming. Nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. See ya.